Hey everybody. So uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday here in uh, amazing British Columbia. It's going to be a scorcher. Well, for us, it's, it's going to be hot. I'm, I'm expecting warm temperatures. It's already getting hot in here. Holy smokes. Anyway, uh, what I had planned is today I was going to show you, uh, I was going to build another Dutch bucket system. Uh, similar to this one right here. Uh, but this one was going to go in a long row up the center of my greenhouse. Well, I discovered uh, that I don't have a float valve, so I'm just not going to start it yet till I have all the parts. So I'll do that next week. I'm s I thought it would be coming in the mail already. I ordered it from <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I could find. So anyway, yeah, the magic of the internet, right? So anyway, uh, I'm waiting on that. But so uh, I wanted to show you guys something. So today what I'm going to show you is uh, just a quick look at my... Uh, crazy elongated tomatoes and then I'm going to show you a 99% success rate uh, for cloning and I mean you can clone anything I don't care what it is guys uh, you can put an old boot in here and it'll grow roots so anyway I'm going to show you that method um, maybe some of you guys it'll, it'll work great for you I know if you try it it'll work really good so anyway that's what I'm up to today so I got to get out of here it's getting warm. <laughs> it's getting warm already so okay I'll get that stuff set up and uh, I'll show you that all right, check it out. So before I do that though, I thought I'd just show you a quick look at these uh, tomatoes. <laughs> they're, they're starting to look quite nice. Um, they're very, very bizarre uh, elongated type tomato. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to see how one tastes because I just broke one off. Well, it'll be fried green tomatoes. <clears throat> so anyway, these are, these are really, really beautiful. Uh, these are really beautiful bushes here. Uh, there's three of them, and uh, they generally give you uh, they generally give you a pretty doggone good harvest. So they did in the dirt greenhouse last year. So we'll do how, uh, see how they do out here. <laughs> All right, I'll get that stuff up and show you the cool cloning method. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, okay, everybody. <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> We've complicated. <laughs> I went to good old Canadian Tire. Not Walmart, Canadian Tire, and I bought this clear plastic bucket, and uh, it comes with a snap lid. Uh, I spray painted it black, and uh, the reason for that is to keep the light off the roots. So in the top here, what I've done <coughs> is I've drilled a lot of holes, and I plugged the holes with little styrofoam cubes with slits in them. Right. So what this does is it just plugs plugs up a little hole in here <coughs> and uh, inside here well inside here I'll show you what that's about okay what you're looking at is the inside of the tub and uh, you can see I've got a big long air stone going in there and uh, so what's happening is when these bubbles come to the surface and they pop they flip water up to the to the lid of the container I'll, I'll show you that sorry about the camera work. <laughs> anyway so see there's the holes with the styrofoam plugs in them and there's just a tomato sucker I put the tomato sucker in there oh well it's been I'm trying to get so you can see two or three days I guess call it three days but you can see the roots already happening there um, so it just sits down above the water like that and uh, it's splashed so um, yeah it, so it's working really 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 good <clears throat> uh, and under it I have a seedling heat mat you know it's just uh, just enough to kind of you know keep everything warm so bottom line what's happening here is um, when those bubble or, bubbles are splashing up <coughs> excuse me they tap up on top of the stem in there and uh, they start growing roots. It seems to work extremely good because these things never miss a beat. They just keep right on growing. And in the water in there, I, I keep a uh, 200 parts per million solution of grow nutrients, general hydroponics. Um, you could use anything, I guess, even miracle grow. But uh, so they're, they've got a slight amount of nutrients all the time so they don't start yellowing. They don't miss a beat. They just kind of keep right on growing. And uh, the root structure is usually really beautiful. 
Uh, I can show you here what I did here on these. I uh, I kind of scrape down the sides of things when I'm rooting them. And uh, this I found, man, just the roots just, they just pop right out, right, right wherever I've scratched. In a big long line, I like them in a long line so they get a lot of root structure out if they're, especially if they're going into soil or something. But you see with something like this, you can just take that, <clears throat> set it down carefully in uh, some hydroton, curl her up, put your drip in, keep on going. Uh, in fact, I've forgotten about cuttings in here, you know, for like four or five days longer. Doggone it, if they just aren't growing. I mean, it's it, this is basically just a deep water culture uh, setup, and uh, yeah, you just pop them in, and they go and they grow. Um, never fail, never fail. 99% success rate, guys, all the time. Um, just a little cheap air pump there, a little heating mat under it, little nutrients in there, and you're in business. I'll 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 show you a quick look, like kind of inside what's happening. You can kind of see how the Little bubbles are working. Yeah. <laughs> okay, check this out. So, you can see how this is happening, right? Up on the top of the bucket, you can see it's it's really coated with with uh, nutrient solution and, and nice air bubbles. See, this thing just uh, sits and does its thing, and and of course the roots just keep on coming. So anyway, like I said. It's about a 99% success rate with this thing. Um, it works. It works. That's all I can say. Um, if you're tired of farting around with stuff, check this out, man. Check this out. I'll just give you a little quick look of what it is. Oh, also, what I do do, I squirt a little of this Juicy Roots in there. It's, uh, you know, it's just a cloning, cloning medium. Uh, Seems to help. I've tried it both ways. It does work better without it. But anyway, I'll just show you what this thing is. A little quick uh, scan over it and get the idea. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much a done deal. Check it out. So that's all she is. Just a little box that I painted black, a little air pump, and a mat. And you got roots. You got roots. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's my big clone. <laughs> that's my big uh, my big cloning adventure. So uh, yeah, try this, guys. You won't be disappointed. I'm telling you, anything and everything. Old boots. I, it all grows. That's all I got for now. All right. So, uvidimese pozdjei. We'll see you later, everybody. Ahoy. <laughs>